or you to submit this video earlier about on Metro 2033 game review. So I think it's been like nearly two weeks since I last played since I finished Metro 2033. So I give the game like a nine nine and a half, nine point eight out of ten, somewhere there. I think I think I gave it a nine point eight. No, no, I gave it, I gave it a nine and a half. Give Metro twenty three three nine and a half out of ten, mainly because it wasn't entirely like the book. No, but it did get the it did get the vibe of the game of the book right. Got the horror elements right. It got a few other things right. It got the environment right. The setting right. That was done perfectly. The story was different than what the book had. The characters were different than what the book had. Some of the events that happened were different than what the book had. And they cut off some major stuff, but that's because it's a video game. And I'm guessing because they didn't want people to see all this boring stuff that happens in the book and the game. So we just quickly rushed through that stuff, I guess. Um, well, I didn't really mention it, though, but, um, but, um, yeah, but overall the game was incredible, though. I really enjoyed the game. More towards the later half of the game. That's where I started to really like it. The first earlier half of the game was I was confused. Because you know, I played it right after I read the book. I played it right after I read the book. And I was like, this is the... This is the less detail in the book. The story was. But then, quickly, quickly grew on me and game was incredible the rest of the way through. And then on, and then, until dawn, thought it was freaking amazing. Gave that a 9.8 out of 10. Um, yeah, the graphics, story, the characters, I really liked the characters in Until Dawn. A lot of the characters I really liked. Um, I really liked its horror elements. It wasn't too scary of a game, really. You know, but it's not the scariest horror game I've ever played. But it's still, it was still scary. But, um, yeah, Until Dawn was pretty cool. Very, very mysterious, thrilling very fun to play. It was a very fun game to play. I really enjoyed the, the gameplay to it. Um, unlike Metro 2033's gameplay, which was every single flipping time I ran out of dang filters and then I couldn't really play the rest of the level. It sucked. But, um, yeah. And, like, the ammo runs out fast in Metro 2033. Stupid gas masks break off. And you're like, <laughs> stuff. Gameplay in Metro 2033 was a little wonky for me. But in Until Dawn, though, it was fire. You know, it was a pretty simple game, though. Metro 2033 was more complicated. But um, Until Dawn is more simple. So, I mean, it's not really that fair to compare the two. But, um, until Dawn was incredible graphics. The way they handled things well was spot on. I really liked it. The, the mystery behind the whole camp. While Josh plays a prank on like everyone. Like none of it was Josh's fault. 
you know, I'm sure it was pretty cruel what he did, but like a majority of the game was just Josh pulling a prank on you. But then, like, towards the end, some crazy, crazy stuff happens. These Wendigo creatures and stuff. That was pretty freaky. But like, there was a, there was a, quite a bit of spooky moments in the game, but not like fully like scary. I would say. But um, it was a really good game. Not gonna lie. Until Dawn was flipping fantastic. I really love it. And like the way they put the angles in when the character walks into another room, like sometimes the angles just like set you off completely. Amazing.